Hi, I'm Sandra Smith, the product manager for Wexar Bell. Today we're going to take a look at our 505 V2, which is our next evolution of the 505 Classic semi-automatic case former. From an operational standpoint, the 505 V2 runs just the same as all the other 505s in our line. Um, an operator would open a case up from flat, push it down into the machine, the bottom of the case is folded, it's held in place. So both hands are free for loading. Um, the operator is close to the inside of the box, no matter what the width of the case is. So from a loading standpoint, it's very ergonomic for the operator to be here. So from a setup standpoint, we have our pictographs on the machines telling the operators uh, how to go through a setup. Setup is very easy with the machine. this machine. There's only really two adjustment points. There's the width of the case and the length of the case. The width adjustments uh, available on either side of the machine depending on where you have the operator. So they can come in and make that width adjustment here. They make a length adjustment down here in the machine. Uh, the machine's pretty small footprint. Uh, it, it can be set up on casters, teamed up with the right sealer, and you can move it around wherever you need it to um, operate in your facility and move it so it, it maximizes the ergonomics for the operator loading the case. So one of the big changes from the Classic to the V2 is the support piece that we have at the rear of the machine. First of all, this is where we've located our e-stop. Uh, traditionally, it would be on one side of the machine or the other. This way, it's, it's centrally located, so no matter where the operator is working, they can uh, trigger the e-stop. If you wanted to, to bring in product at the rear of the machine, it's also possible you have enough real estate that we could relocate this in a position that makes sense for you. This is also a support piece with a linear bearing supporting the rear of this machine. So we have the lead screw at the front of the machine, the bearing at the back of the machine. So we have nice smooth motion for the major folders uh, to move in and out and it supports the machine very well as it goes through all the motion that this machine would go through in operation. You don't think about a little machine like this and the amount of force created when it fires uh, to form the bottom of the case. Over time, number of cases, there's a lot of wear and tear. So this, this helps us displace a lot of that motion. One of the other changes we've incorporated is, is actually from our 505 G4 version of the machine, which is this support piece here. These slots and, and cam followers uh, control the bottom of the machine or the floor of the machine. These pieces used to be independent of one another. They were a, a mild steel that was welded and plated. Part of our mission to eliminate any welded, plated, mild steel material, we, we've incorporated this all-in-one aluminum plate to have the uh, cam slots in. It also lends more structure from side to side. Again, getting back to the idea of this machine over time and its operation, this makes the machine more robust and gives it longer machinery life to our customer base. We've also changed the lead screw scenario on this, again, eliminating a plated material and, and made these mounts for the side pieces more robust, um, keeping in line with some of the stuff I was talking about a little bit earlier. So we have the construction changes to the machine where we've eliminated the mild steel and plated material. Uh, we have the structural in, enhancements that we've made with the support pieces. The big change with this machine is how we deal with the pneumatic. So this is a 100% air machine and it has been from its original design. Uh, traditionally we would use uh, point to point air uh, connections. Uh, we would relay the, that air line through switches and cylinders. With this system we're using a manifold system that allows us to reduce the number of components that are in the machine. It also reduces the amount of air line required and as such it reduces the amount of air required to operate the machine. So there's a 27% savings in air consumption on this machine and some fractional increases in speed as well. So the Bell uh, 505 V2 semi-automatic uh, case former could be teamed up with any of our sealers. Today I've been showing it with our Bell 252, which is a fully automatic sealer. It's very safe for the operator to be working at the back of the machine because of the snap folders.
For more information about this machine or any of our equipment, please stop by our website, www.wexar.com.